Nonviolent protest. Is it effective? Nonviolent resistance. Nonviolent resistance or nonviolent action is the practice of achieving goals, such as social change, through symbolic protest, civil disobedience, economic, or political non cooperation. Sari Agra or other methods while being non violent. Women's Suffrage Parade of 1913. On March 3rd, 1913, an organized parade of women marched down Pennsylvania Avenue in our nation's capital. The parade was led by lawyer Inez Milholland, who was dressed all in white, wearing a white cape, and riding a white horse. Behind her was a parade of 5,000 women from numerous countries, including bands, four mounted brigades, three heralds, and 24 decorated floats. This parade resulted in women earning the right to vote. The medals heard around the world. During the 1968 Summer Olympic Games, two African-American medal-winning track runners stood atop a medal podium in silent protest. Racial inequality and injustice was thriving in the U.S. So while the U.S. national anthem played, Tommy Smith, John Carlos stood with black gloved fists raised high above their bowed heads. They later explained that they bowed their heads as a sign of respect for the country. However, some people back home did not see it the same way. Many in the U.S. were outraged. And when the athletes returned home, they were vilified by their own country. The March for Our Lives, March 24th, 2018. On February 14th, 2018, 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, were killed by a former student who opened fire with a semi-automatic rifle. After the protest, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Act was passed by the state legislature and implemented changes such as raising the minimum age for gun purchase from 18 to 21, increasing waiting periods until background checks clear or three days, whichever is longer, among other measures. Can urban riots cause change? As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said in 1968, I think that we've got to see that a riot is the language of the unheard. Urban riot. Riots often occur in reaction to a perceived grievance or out of dissent. Riots may be the outcome of a sporting event, although many riots have occurred due to poor working or living conditions, government oppression, and conflicts between races and religions. Stonewall Riots, June 28, 1969. The Stonewall Riots involved the most marginalized members of the LGBTQ community in New York City who faced gender, race, class, and generational obstacles. A year after the uprising to mark the anniversary, on June 28, 1970, the first gay pride marches took place in New York, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. The anniversary of the riot was also commemorated in Chicago, and similar marches were organized in other cities. Within a few years, gay rights organizations were founded all across the U.S. and the world. The Stonewall National Monument was established at the site in 2016. The Boston Tea Party. In 1773, a group of Massachusetts colonists disguised as Mohawk Indians boarded three American-owned tea ships in the Boston Harbor and dumped 342 chests of green tea from China into the harbor. The Watts Rebellion of 1965. The rebellion was a result of the Watts community's long-standing grievances and growing discontent with high unemployment rates, substandard housing, and inadequate schools. Despite the reported findings of the gubernatorial commission following the riots, city leaders and state officials failed to implement measures to improve the social and economic conditions of African-Americans living in the Watts neighborhood. In 